Oh, nice. Damn, Chris T was plotting that. Dips on spacing. You should just think to yourself, where are they standing, right? The range that they're standing most of the time is right in the range of their farthest reaching normals that are special cancelable or good to poke with, right? So Ken's heavy kick or Luke's standing heavy punch, those are their far range pokes. This is the max distance range where you hit your big button. If you're either character and you want to throw a fireball, you want your opponent to hold this space and then you step back right here basically into the second line and fireball. If you want to use your crouching medium kick or you want to use something that's a little closer, you need to step in to like here. If you think that Ken is going to hit his crouching medium kick, which won't reach you here, then fireballing from right here is fine, right? Because like it's not going to hit you. If you think he's going to hit a heavy kick that goes out to here, right? Then take a step back and throw a fireball here. Spacing is basically just what tools you want to attack with, what tools your opponents want to attack with, and then positioning yourself to use those the best you can. It's not just like, where do I stand? It's like, okay, what do I want to do? Uh, cool so like, you notice Zombat takes a step back to throw a fireball. He doesn't want to be in normal range when he throws the fireball or it could get stuck. And then now it's like, I want to attack. So initiates a closer range here. Christy walks in and then walks out to bait the attack. Zombat swings. Christy away punishes. So he put himself in the optimal range for Zombat to hit standing medium punch and then walked out of standing medium punch. You know, that's how you think about how to space yourself. Christy walked into a range that looked juicy and then was like, all right, now let me leave. He's got to decide, does he mash flash or what? Do I mash flash? Too mash or not too mash? Ooh, look at the range Christy's holding, actually. He just backs up and stands outside of like Guile's range to throw any buttons. And then just like, is like, what's good? I'm going to stand right here. Yeah. And then as soon as you hit anything, he's just ready. You want to hit a button? Nothing will reach. He'll just whip punish. You jump, you can anti-air and keep the corner. You do nothing. He just hits a button, drive rush. And if you throw a boom or something and he drive impacts, you know, pretty bad there too.